welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Janae I run a blog called high low looks and I focus on luxury beauty fashion and travel and today we are doing my 2020 luxury wish list every year I make these kind of lists so that I stay on track with things I really want I think long and hard about them yeah so I'm gonna share with you today I've kind of created this list over the past few weeks and of course some stuff has rolled over from 2019 because money doesn't grow on trees and unfortunately I can't buy everything I want so we're gonna get right into my list I have 10 items that I'm gonna share with you and of course I don't have any of them yet so I'll pop up pictures so you know exactly what I'm talking about also if you love videos like this or topics around luxury beauty fashion or travel make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification so you never miss a video and without any more rambling let's get into it okay first up on my list and this is in no particular order <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna read you down the list that's in my phone. Um, first up are a pair of Manolo Blahniks, the Hangisi, I think that's how you say it, in I'm thinking the color yellow but really just any fun bright pop of color is what I'm thinking but right now I'm leaning towards yellow. I will pop up a picture and I don't really splurge on heels. Typically over the past few years I've had um, another pair of Manolo Blahniks on my wish list. Then at one point I was thinking I wanted the Amina Muhadi shoes and I'd never bought either one. And now I'm really leaning toward this, the Hengisi because they're a lower heel. They just, I've heard they're more comfortable and I just think for my lifestyle, they would be more practical. I am all about comfort. I don't wear heels that much. So if it's, if I'm gonna splurge on it, it needs to be something I can get a lot of wear out of that I can just kind of like throw on and not have to think too much about. And I feel like these look really nice with jeans. You could dress them up or dress them down. And most importantly, they're comfortable. So that's what I'm leaning towards. And again, a pop of color because I feel like that's what's missing. Most of my heels, I have like a really nice pair of like white heels. I have um, the Dior slingbacks in black. So I feel like I have like the basics covered. I have like a leopard print. Um, so I really need like a fun pop of color. So that's the first thing on my wish list. Next up is the Loewe belt and it's like I think it's called the Obi belt and I've been eyeing this for a few years they have a couple of different versions and it's probably if I had to rank them this will probably be at the end or at the bottom of my list because I love it I think it's so flattering it's gorgeous the leather looks so supple but I don't know how much I would wear it and I don't like to splurge on things I can't wear a lot um, and this may be something that I would have to force and just so I'm still I'm still unsure but I really really love it I think if I saw it in person I would buy it because I think I love it that much that it would be like irresistible but I feel like it's one of those things I've never seen it in person so I would have to buy it online and then when I start thinking about it while I'm looking at it online I talk myself out of it so let me know what you think of course there'll be pictures but let me know what you think do I need that belt let me know let me know okay next up the a Balenciaga button-up shirt I think it's called the poplin shirt something like that of course I'll put up a picture this has been on my wish list for a few years and they're just really expensive <laughs> and I'm hoping to find one at an outlet um, I'm going to LA in February and they have a Balenciaga outlet um, at their like outlet mall so I'm hoping I can find one I didn't see any in Paris um, so I'm hoping I can find one I think retail they're like $900 that's just a lot for a shirt but I love Balenciaga as far as ready to wear is probably one of my favorite um, designer ready to wear collections or brands and I just love it's like classic but edgy and I feel like that's kind of my style I know I would wear it a lot button-up shirts and t-shirts are kind of my favorite thing to wear so if I'm gonna invest that would be the thing to invest in it's just still a lot of money but it's on my wish list. It's up there pretty high on my wish list because I can just see myself in the summertime. It's like, I'm thinking like a stripey one. I saw, I saw a striped one, like a white and blue, and it had Balenciaga and yellow on the back. Oh, and I just think that'd be so cute in the summer with like some cutoff shorts. It's all up here. I got the whole outfit envisioned. And then like with some like white jeans with like rips in them, a little white skirt. Yeah, it's high up there. I definitely want it like a lot. Okay. Next up is, I have a few bags. Um, if you follow me, you know I've sold quite a few bags um, this year because I'm really just trying to get things that I really love and I wear and that work with my lifestyle and I'm kind of figuring that out more. So the first bag on my wish list is the Chanel 19. I love this bag. 
Um, I want it definitely in some type of fabric. I think it comes in like a jersey. I really want that. I want, I've been wanting a bag that's just not leather. Um, and I like that it's like really squishy. That's a really big trend. But I also just feel like I just, I would wear this bag to death. I don't know what size and I'm not sure what color. I've had my eye on the baby blue because I just, again, I want to add things to my collection um, that are interesting and that I don't have anything like it. And ever since I got that pink bag, I've worn it so much and kind of realized I really like pastels and I can treat them kind of like neutrals. It's really easy to pair with things. So I'm leaning towards like a baby blue, like a fabric one, but I don't know if I want it big or like the medium size. So, but I love that bag. Um, it's also, I would have to buy it <laughs> retail. And I think the small one is $4,900, yeah. So something special <laughs> would have to happen. <laughs> a really big campaign, a really, some type of large payday <laughs> for me to buy, to buy that one. So we'll see, we'll see. The rest of the bags are more affordable, but that's the only one that, there's no getting around it. I've seen a couple pre-loved and they're like $100. <laughs> cheaper and for a hundred dollars less I would rather just go in the store and buy it and have champagne and get a box so moving on okay next on my list there's another bag it is the Loewe puzzle bag now this bag I have been like back and forth about for probably the past two or three years um I've seen Karen Britchick with it on YouTube and I she made me really really like it but I still just felt like it was just too simple um, and I just needed a little more going on. And then they came out with them in like a mini version and I really liked that. But lately I've been seeing just like really interesting patterns. So now I'm sold. <laughs> I really want this bag and I'll pop up some pictures, but I want, they do like different prints or like a mixture of prints or like different color combinations, like with the puzzle, like shape. So I'm really into that. Um, again, I've seen one that's like tan, but it has like a section that's like black and white stripes. Like I, I know I want something just like funky and really cool because the bag is a really cool shape and it's already interesting and it's more affordable than most designer bags. So I feel like I really want to like have fun with it. So that is on my list. Next up, um, I think the only other pair of shoes, um, the Gucci Prince Town loafers in cream. I actually have mine on, <laughs> show them to you, but they are, this is embarrassing <laughs> they are gross and I've worn them to death I think I've had them for two years and it's just it's the best shoe I've never got I, this is the shoe I've probably gotten the most wear out of the color goes with everything you can wear them year-round besides like when it's like snow on the ground but most of the time I can wear these like 10 months out of the year they're so supple, they're so buttery soft, so comfortable. And again, they go with everything. I wear them to death in the summer and in the fall, I wear them sporadically, but I need to replace these this year because as you can see, they are, they're done. They're done. They got, I got all my money's worth out of those. So those are on my wish list. Uh, next up, another bag. And if you watched any of my handbag videos, um, especially during Vlogmas, you know that I sold, well, I've sold two Balenciaga City mini bags in different colors for different reasons, and it's still on my wish list. And I think I finally figured out the color I want, and it's yellow. Again, yellow over the past summer, 2019, really came into my life, kind of shook things up, and it's one of my favorite colors now. And I just feel like, again, it would go with my yellow Manila Blahniks that hopefully I'll have. <laughs> but I love this bag, it's super edgy, it's super funky. I have uh, the larger one in gray, you can't see it. Um, but I love this bag and I love it in the mini version. And I'm thinking yellow or, it has to be an interesting color, but I'm 90% I'm, uh, I'm sold on getting it in yellow. And I know I can find this pre-loved, I would never buy it full price for probably like 900 to 1500 dollars i just have to find a yellow one so if you see a yellow one let me know dm me on instagram <laughs> next up there's also a bag that i've had twice and sold twice but i think i figured out the color did i write it down the color i didn't okay i haven't figured out the color but i'll know it when i see it i think <laughs> it's the valentino rockstar bag i have had it in sweet suede um and like a bright pink like the color of the shirt it was this color um which is one of my favorite colors 
And I sold that because I wasn't in love with the suede. I just didn't like the suede. It didn't wear very well. Um, and it was starting to get kind of like worn down. Then I got it in cream, the same color as my Gucci loafers. And I loved that color. It was perfect. The combination wearing those two together, oh, magical. But it was just too high maintenance. The leather was so supple and the color was so light that I couldn't even touch it without getting it dirty. Like anytime I wore it, it was just like a spot after a spot after a spot. And I was always cleaning it and I was always stressed about it. So now I'm thinking, I really want the black with the white VLTN, I think is written on it. I'll put up a picture. I'm leaning towards that because I like how that makes it a little more edgy because it's a very kind of like, even though it has studs in the like cream color, it was very like a ladylike bag. So I think I like the more edgy version. Or I'm thinking metallic, but in the metallic, I feel like you don't see the studs pop as much. Let me know what you think. But I really like the idea of the words across it. I mean, I really love the white with the black words across it, but talk about high, high maintenance, that would just be ridiculous. So yeah, that is on my list. But again, that would probably be towards the end of the list because I'm still not, like I still am not solid on a color or a fabric for that matter. Oh, stressful. Okay, next up is the Chanel dad sandals I'm calling them dad sandals I don't know what they're technically called but they are like um, the chunky sandal and they are kind of like Birkenstocks kind of they have like two straps I'll put up a picture <laughs> but those are on my list chunky shoes if you watched my 2020 trends video you know chunky shoes are still in and it's all about the chunky sandal and I love them I am I, I tested out a pair of Zara like dad chunky sandals last year and I wore them to death they're so comfortable and I'm just again all about comfort so I feel like this will be good to add to my collection. I don't have like a super, super comfy pair of sandals and I don't really have a designer pair of sandals. I have my Dior slides, but those are more like casual. I mean, I guess these would be casual, but I'm casual. So <laughs> it is what it is, my decision. Uh, those are on my list. I'm not sure what color though. I also saw a pair of Louis Vuitton ones that were very cute. So it could be, it could be a toss up. We'll see what I see first. <laughs> that will be the winner okay next up another bag and it is the boy bag b-o-y-y -Y. and i have wanted this bag for a while and i have come close to buying this bag twice but i have never been again solid on the color the colors and like materials always get me i was introduced to this bag by mel Sodera on youtube and she has it in black and i was intrigued when i saw hers so i was like oh that's pretty cool like shape and like it's just a cool bag and but again I almost bought it on Netter Porter in like a PVC and it was like color blocks and it was really cool but I was like oh, are you gonna wear that today like what is that gonna go with I don't know but now I've just seen it in I put up a picture and like again a color block or like two-tone and like a cream and a camel and it stole my heart that's the one she's the one it's a little bigger I don't really have a bigger bag like that and I'm pretty sold. Again, a lot of this stuff is on my list is like stuff I can't find in stores and I have to order online, which just makes me think, <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a good thing. It makes me think too long about it. And then sometimes I talk myself out of it, but I definitely feel like 2020 is the year for me to get this bag. And I feel like I finally found the perfect shade, color, way. Yeah. And then next up are a pair of sunglasses. I love sunglasses. They just, can make a whole ensemble and I a lot of actually Loewe wow three things from Loewe I actually own nothing from the brand but uh they really caught my eye in 2019 they are a pair of sunglasses I'll put them up I think they're called the acetate sunglasses and they are stunning they're stunning I love when glasses have like a kind of like a tan like filter on them it's just so flattering especially for brown skin and these are like thicker and like kind of chunky and I don't have anything like it and I just love them. I saw them on, who did I see them on? Melissa's wardrobe on Instagram. I think she has them, I'm pretty sure. And I need them. I need them. I also have never said, like every sunglass store I go in, I ask for those sunglasses and I haven't been able to find them. So I'm hoping when I go to LA, I can find them. Cause I need new sunglasses for LA, right? Right, yes, okay. Yeah, 
Okay guys, that's it. That is my luxury wish list for 2020. Let me know below what you have on your luxury wish list or if you have anything. I know I don't think I mentioned, but I am doing a no spend January. That means I am not buying anything. Of course, unless it's like food or essentials, but I'm particularly not buying any clothing, any um, like home items um, and any makeup for the entire month. We're halfway through. I haven't bought anything yet. <laughs> so, so far so good. I know a lot of you are following along on Instagram and you are also participating. So um, it's good to make this list because now I can like be very intentional <laughs> when February 1st comes. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I may not even like go out and like rush to buy anything then because now it's just kind of like, eh, I got enough stuff, that's how I feel. But anywho, let me know below what you have on your wish list. Also what you think of my wish list and like some of those bags that I'm not sure about colors. If you if you have an opinion, let me know. They're welcome. But of course, if you stuck around this long, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram at HiloLux and read my blog, HiloLux.com. As always, thanks for stopping by. See ya.